Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 35 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 34. Now we will discuss binary operations. Addition, multiplication, subtraction, divisions, these are all examples of binary operations. Binary means two. You have two numbers, two identity. On those two numbers or identity, if you perform operation, it is called binary operation. The general binary operation is nothing but association of pair of elements. That is, if you have one set of element x, it has some elements. Another set y, it has some elements. If there is a relation between x and y, then that is called binary operation. For example, the binary operation star on a set A is a function star A cross A will not A B by A cross B. That is the relation between any two objects in uh, A is A cross B or A star B. We will take some examples. We have to prove that addition, subtraction, multi multiplications are binary operation R, but division is not binary operation. Further, we have to show that division is a binary operation on R of non-zero real number. So, we are talking about plus. In plus, if you see, if you take any real number, it is talking about operation on R. You see, R plus R will be equal to always real number. If you add two real numbers, you get a real number always. That's why you can say that a b implies a plus b. Here, the, if you add two real numbers, you always get a real number. That's why the binary operation of addition is two or real number. Similarly, if you take subtraction, if you take two real numbers, you subtract a real number from them, you always get a real number. And that is why you can say that a b a minus b, this is a binary operation. Addition subtraction is done. Next one, multiplication. So if you see, if you take two real numbers and you multiply two real numbers, you always get real numbers. Thus, you can see that this multiplication property holds true for real number. Similarly, division, if you see, if you divide two real numbers, it may not be a real number. I'll tell you example, if you take any number and divide by 0, 0 is a real number, you get infinite, which is not a real number. So, division property is not true for R. So, this, I can't say that, this is not there. That is, division is not true for R. But, if you see that, if you exclude R, if you exclude R, if you exclude 0 from the real number, if you take non-zero real numbers, that is R star, then binary pro this division property holds true. You take R star, that is non-zero real number. From that, you divide any R star, non-zero real number, that will always be a non-zero real numbers. Thus, we can say that division property holds true for non-zero real number. Correct. Let's take some more example. We have to prove that subtraction and division are not binary operation. So if you see that, if you subtract two natural numbers, it need not be a natural number. Why? Because you subtract 7 from 7, you get 0. 0 is not a natural number. You subtract 5 from 9, you get minus 4. That is also not a natural number. Thus, you can say that the subtraction property doesn't hold true for natural number. Similarly, your division, if you see, n by n may not be n. For example, you divide 2 by 7, you get this 2 is natural number, 7 is natural number, but 2 by 7 is not a natural number. Correct? That's why you can see that this property also is not true for natural number. So, division is also not true for natural number. Thus, we have seen that subtraction and division is not binary operation on n. See for an operation to be binary, if the operation to be binary, 
you perform an operation on let's suppose any number, any any type of number, if it is n into n, it has to be n. If it is uh, z, an operation on z will always get z. That is called binary operation. In this case, we have seen for natural number, neither subtraction holds true nor division holds true. We have to show that this star binary operation r cross r is given by a b a plus 4 b square is a binary operation. That is, you take any two real number, a and b are real number actually. Then we have to prove that a plus 4b square is also real number. a and b are real number. So a plus 4b square is real number. We know that. We know that if a and b are real number, if a and b are real number, a plus 4b square is a real number. Thus, this operation star which says that this operation star says that AB implies 4 plus AB square. This is the relation between A and B is true. Why? Because you take any two real numbers here and you are getting a real number as output. If A is real, B is real, and you can see that A plus 4 B square is a real number. Always you take any two real numbers. Thus, this operation holds true. Let P be the set of all subsets of a given set X. We have to show that this operation U, P cross P given by AB, A union B and this intersection P cross P given by A intersection B are all binary operation on set. So the question says that this set X, in this set there are so many subsets on this P1, P2, P3 like that, P4, there are so many subsets subsets of this set x and that is by p, p1, p2, p3, p4 like that. So we have to show that this on this p union operation and intersection operation holds to, that is they are binary operation, correct. So for union operation if you see this p cross p implies p, we have you take any number a and b this will give you A union B. Correct. Now if you see if A is the member of P, B is the member of P, A union B has to be the member of P. Correct. So in that case we can say that this property holds true. Because if A is a member of P subset and B is also a member of P subset, then A union B will also be the member of P subset. Similarly for intersection property if you see here also P cross P implies P. Here A B implies A intersection B. So here also if you see if A is the member of P and B is the member of P, this implies A intersection B also member of P. Thus we can say that union and intersection operation are binary operation on the set. We will take some more example. We have to show that this operation V, you take two real number, you get output as real number given by max of AB. And this operation given by from R to R, it gives R also minimum AB R binary operation. So to prove this, what I have to prove is you take any two real numbers, you take the max of this, that also has to be real number. For this, I have to take you take any two real numbers because they are all reals, and you take the min of this. This is real. Correct. So let's see the first part. It says the max of the number. So if my if I take AB and I get the max of AB here. So what I notice here, if my A is real. If my B is real, max of AB has to be real. Thus, this relation is true. Correct? You can write that A is member R, B is the member R. This implies max of AB has to be member of R. And that is what they are saying. 
R cross R, we have sum. Simply for minimum operation, if you see, R cross R gives R. Here, AB implies minimum of AB. So, what do you see? Here also, if A is the member of A is real, B is real, minimum of AB has to be real. Correct? This we know. If this is true, this relation holds true. That is, this is a binary operation. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.